Oh, we need them. Mission control, mission control. Prepare for launching. Prepare for launching. Brain room. Researchers are now hoping to use this technique to gain a better understanding of the situation inside the damaged reactor. Brain room. Of Fukushima Daiichi. Brain room. Brain room. One of the studies is being conducted by scientists from Toshiba and the U.S. Los Alamos National Laboratory. Their plan is to place detectors on opposite sides of the reactor. The detectors will be used to track the behavior of muons as they pass through the concrete walls and the shielding of the reactor in a bid to determine the status of the molten fuel. The molten fuel inside the reactors is believed to have sunk to the bottom of the containment vessels. So scientists must place the detectors around the vessels deep underground. The job is made even more difficult as the whole radio is cluttered with pipes and cables. It's also flooded with contaminated water. Another obstacle is the extremely high radiation being emitted by the surroundings. This that could disrupt the study by affecting the devices. If this happens, researchers won't be able to correctly grasp the situation. Brain room. 